Korean? Uh, where are my Koreans at, huh? Where are, uh, where are my Koreans at? Put your hands up. Where are my Koreans at? Yeah. Yeah, I don't trust Korean people. That's why I always want to know where they at. Yeah, cool. Put your hands up where I can see them. No such movements. Thank you. My wife is Korean. Uh, she wanted a very authentic Korean wedding when we got married. I don't know if you've ever been. She wanted very authentic Korean clothes, very authentic Korean food, very authentic Korean cer ceremony. Uh, the least authentic thing about it is, I am Vietnamese. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Her family was like, okay, we got the food right. We got the clothes right. Who's this Mexican guy? Ah! Oh, se dice? You broke my heart. <laughs> I've been trying to learn Spanish because Vietnamese people are kind of like the Mexicans of Asia, you know? In that white people think they know about us because they ate at our restaurant once. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know tacos, yeah, I know tacos. Um, I've been trying to learn Spanish. Spanish is a funny uh, word, a language to learn because the first uh, phrase you teach you is Donde esta la biblioteca? Where is the library, right? That's fine, you're a student. But the second phrase you teach you is Donde esta la discoteca? Where is the nightclub? That's a little bit of a jump, don't you guys think, you know? What's that like lesson like? Okay, kids, okay, so the first word we're going to learn today is Libro. That means book. And the second word we're going to learn today is CULO! Como se dice ver, 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 en español? Ver, 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 ver. I love that sound. I love the air horn sound, right? I, you can use that sound and everything will be okay. Do you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, you can be at your doctor's office and he comes in and he's like, oh, the results came back. You've got herpes. Burr, 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 burr. Hell yeah, someone's been partying. Burr, burr, burr. Okay. Love it, love it. Shall say anyone with herpes. <clears throat> um, I do love my wife. My wife uh, is 5'5, uh, five, five. I'm 5'8. Five, so for a long time, she said I was too short to date her. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm taller than you are. And she was like, mm, not while I'm wearing heels. Because that's the thing with some women, they'll pass on the dude because he's not tall enough to go with a pair of shoes she wears sometimes. <laughs> that would be like if I was dating a girl and we broke up and everybody's like, hey man, whatever happened to Vicky? And I was like, mm, didn't really go with my Jordans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brit, right? You love my wife, my, we were hanging out in Soho, my wife does very well for herself, she has a really nice Chanel handbag she got for herself, and uh, we were in Soho, and uh, she, uh, she nudges me, she's like, hey Mike, did you see that girl over there? And I was like, yeah, what about her? And she's like, did you see her Chanel handbag? And I was like, yeah, you have the same Chanel handbag. And she's like, no, hers was huge. And then that's when I realized, purses are women's penises. Okay, that's why, it always sounds big, I always want to be black, I get it, okay, I get it. I do love fashion. I love fashion. That's why I'm dressed like Hiking Drake. Um, that's, why, that's my vibe. My vibe is construction worker going to a rave. That's my... Does anyone want to do Molly and then put up some drywall? That's me. Call me up. Call me up. I love it. I do love fashion. Whenever people find out I'm into fashion, they always make fun of me. Right? Comics make fun of me. My friends make fun of me. I always want to tell these people, hey, I don't dress for you guys. I dress for black teenagers. Okay? <laughs> That's right. That's who I'm trying to impress. Game recognize game. You know what I'm talking about? Because you never want to be roasted by black teenagers. Mm -mm. They have amazing roasting abilities. Right? One time, uh, I was wearing this, uh, this cardigan my grandmother knit for me, and some black teenagers saw me, and they roasted me so hard, she died. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> The doctor was like, she died of pneumonia, and I was like, hmm, there's those kids from Oakland Tech. Uh, damn it, damn it, Deshaun. You never want to be roasted by black teenagers? You have incredible roasting abilities. There's only one group of people who can roast harder than black teenagers, and that is Asian moms. That's right. Ah, fierce, fierce, okay? Undefeated, all right? Undefeated. That's why they're too fierce, all right? That's why you never see Asian moms in rap battles, okay? All right? You never see a rap battle video where it's like MC Danger versus Mrs. Kim. No. That would just be a video of MC Danger crying at the end, right? I'm sorry I didn't go to grad school. You're not just like, okay. Right? Because black teenagers, they'll roast you on the outside, and Asian mom will roast you on the inside, okay? Like a black teenager sees me, wants to hurt my feelings, and just be like, hey man, you know who you look like? Jackie Chan. Ha <laughs> ha. And all my mom has to say is, hey, you know who you look like? Someone who's not my son. Ah! <laughs> we all been there, right? We all been there. I was like, you're talking about my mom. <laughs> Sad. I do like, uh, fortunately, black teenagers do like how I dress. They, 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 they do like the game. 
Uh, it's kind of weird though sometimes because, uh, uh, for example, there's this one black kid. He works at the Starbucks near where I live, and he see every time he sees me, he likes my outfit so much he gives me free Starbucks, right? Which is pretty cool, except now I can never not look awesome in front of him, right? Do you know how hard it is? Do you know how hard it is to look cute for your man every day? Okay? Alright? Okay? Okay. Have you ever dated a black teenager? It's pretty tough. Oh. People dated black teenagers here. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. Sometimes people say to me, Mike, you do dress very urban. Right? Don't you think that's a little problematic? dress like a black guy. And I have to tell them, no, I'm not an Asian guy dressed like a black guy. I'm an Asian guy dressed like a white guy dressed like a black guy. Okay, you see that? I dance too much. I dance too much. I realize that. I love dancing. I used to be a hip-hop dancer. I know, I'm getting cooler by the second, right? I used to be a hip-hop dancer. We used to give each other hip-hop dance names in our crew that were descriptive of how we danced, right? Like there's one guy in my crew, his name was Classic because his moves were old school. Another guy, his name was Romeo, because his moves got all the ladies. Yeah, my dance name was Gary. Um, I danced like a Deloitte accountant. Okay. Where's my Deloitte heads at? Okay. Uh, I know you're out there. Yeah. I do love dancing. I love dancing, but I'm kind of older now, and I can't, like, okay, like, you know, for example, ma'am, what you can do, you, anytime, you can call up your girlfriends and be like, oh, I had such a rough day. Do you guys just want to go dancing tonight? Right? You can do that. Girls can do that. Guys cannot do that. Okay? That's real weird, alright? I can't call up all my guy friends and be like, hey, uh, you know, instead of watching the All-Star game, you guys want to go dancing tonight? I can't do that. It's super weird, you know what I'm saying? I have to couch it as something else, right? Guys have to be like, hey, you want to pick up some bitches? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to pick up some bitches? You want to go clubbing? Yeah, you want to go clubbing? All you want to do is go dancing with your boys. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all you want, okay? Clubs know this, they won't let a bunch of guys into the club. Ten, ten guys cannot get into the club, so you know what you gotta do as ten guys? What do you gotta do? You gotta buy a table. Right? Somebody said, so you gotta buy a table. That's like a thousand dollars. Okay, you gotta get a bottle, you gotta get a bottle service, that's another thousand dollars, alright? That's two thousand dollars, and I'll tell you right now, it is totally worth it, because you can dance with your boys. It's amazing, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Do love, uh, I try to be cool, I try to be relevant, I'm on Twitter, anyone here on Twitter? Uh, yeah, one, one dork, okay, one, I'm, me too, I'm also on Twitter. Do you guys know this, do you guys know that uh, ISIS, the terrorist organization, recruits people through Twitter? Did you know that? That's crazy, right? Yo, how good are these tweets, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, I'm a comedian, I've got a lot of followers, and I have never convinced any of them to come see me at a comedy show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And yet somehow ISIS can convince people to fight America? Like, that's crazy. How, what is this hashtag game like, you know? I do uh, like being Asian. I like being Asian. You know what I like about being Asian? Uh, I like that um, no one is that racist to Asian people. Hold on here, think about it, right? Like, no racist is so racist, he still wouldn't date an Asian girl. Mm -hmm. A lot of nervous laughter, yeah. Right, right? <laughs> Right? right, There's an old white guy out there right now, and he's like, we gotta get these blacks out of here. We gotta get these homosexuals out of here. We gotta take back our country. And then he goes home to his Asian girlfriend. You know what I'm saying, right? You are my rock, Sue Jung. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? Sue Jung, mm, mm. Is this kimchi? Mm. You have a beautiful culture. <laughs> you guys like my pants? You guys like my pants? Fantastic. My name is Mike Nguyen. Follow me on Instagram. Nice pants, bro!